people ask during the summer, how do you come up with video ideas? Sometimes there's comments. Sometimes there's comments where you, you look and you go, yeah, all right, I'll take that on. So, the hockey news. Oh, God. Pool. That's this year's yearbook. The 09010 yearbook, the 0809 yearbook. That's the current issue of the magazine. 60 moments that changed the game. And my usage of said magazines. I have read the hockey news for 30 plus years. Now, the the comment that was made, I've removed it because it was just incendiary. Um, and it was. Um, and and I'm not going to repeat it because it's just one of those things. You're you, and you're you're going to get those comments, but I do want to explain something. Um, because I, I do think there's a pertinent fact somewhere in there. When I'm reading to you guys from said magazines, um, I, I view it no differently than somebody relaying things on TV. And a lot of the time, um, I consider this. Uh, my viewers are about 50% Canadian about 40, 41% American, and then there's 9 to 10% from the rest of the world. Not everybody has access to the hockey news. I've been in the States, and I do what I call looking for hockey while I'm down there, and I've done it in Bellingham, I've done it in Vernon, Mount Vernon, uh, I've done it in Sumas, which is a very small town, I've done it in Bellingham, I've, I've done it in a number of places. Whenever I'm in a mall or I'm in a big store, I'm like, all right, I'm going to look and see if there's anything hockey-related. And there really isn't. If I'm in the Lids or, or some kind of a sporting goods store between here and, and Seattle, the only team I'm going to find is Vancouver. Do you want Vancouver Canucks stuff? Then we have hockey stuff. You want one of the other 30 teams? We've got nothing. Part of, of the reason that I do this there's two things. Um, one, I, I really enjoy the hockey news for what it is. I do. And I have read it for decades. And yeah, there's there's a, a, a bent in there. There's, a, there's, there's certain writers that you can tell are for or against certain teams. There's certain guys who read almost anything on Pittsburgh and it's glowing. Almost anything on Vancouver and it's just... It's not just negative. It's... There's there's a, a, a sarcastic sneer to what gets written. So I go through these and, and I call that out when I see it. And I don't read everything. Because, yeah, I, I think that when I read something and when I talk to you guys about it, yeah, if you can find it, pick it up. I'm a subscriber. Uh, you know, I have a, I have a year-long paid subscription. And every magazine I have, I've paid for. I don't steal them. And any of the books that I use. The hockey cards I have here. So, you know, there's resources. And it's funny, too, because there was an article that I read online that I looked at and I went, that's not right. It's not right and it just it just bugged me and it stuck with me and it wasn't hockey related this was something i read on in in new like on a newspaper site that i trusted i read something and i went nope i don't believe that and and it, it is it is a, a mindset that I, I try to have with anything in life where if something doesn't add up i i go okay i have to find the source so i went looking for the source so I, I took I took a subject line from the from the story, and I went looking, and sure enough, I found that there was some backwoods newspaper that had published something on this, and it got picked up, and because of hits, it it kept getting picked up by others and others, and eventually it hit the mainstream, and it was crap. 
And it was word for word crap. That I looked and I went, ugh. Okay. Okay. All right. Done. Enough. That's enough. And I, I, I took a look at that topic after that and I, and I looked at it completely differently. I think... And, and this, this happens in a lot of areas where you're in your corner, I'm in my corner. It's sort of, it's sort of like how it's funny when I do the, the, the previews for the season. And people will say, how can you like this team? How can you dislike this team? And yet, our, their dislikes are different from mine. And I could ask the same question. When somebody says, how could you not like the Ducks? How could you not like, well, how could you not like the Canucks? The Canucks are a fun bunch of guys, and, and they give to charity, and they have the kids' the kids uh, charities, and they have, you know, telethons and things of that nature, and the wives come in and help out with that. It's all opinion. So, any video I put up there, regardless of what it is, it's part of me. And... There's nothing that's really more me, and this is going to sound like an ad, but there's nothing that's really more me in terms of hockey than the hockey news. I mean, I'm still opening hockey cards. I didn't open them all last night. I'm at two boxes. I'm opening the third. But for me, the hockey news, I grew up with it. You know, when I was a little kid, my mom would go out to the store and get me the hockey news. It was the mid-'80s. And I'd, I'd read it cover to cover. And the big thing for me was the stats. I'd go to the stats page. This was the old hockey news when the stats page was all you had. You didn't have the internet. The stats page was really, really important. So, you know, I would, I would go through that every magazine. And I would look. And I would take two pages and put them next to each other and go, okay... This guy played six games and had four points. This guy played six games and had two points. And, of course, the stats I'm looking at were technically old because it's a magazine, right? So it's probably two weeks old. So I'm going, huh, and they're here now, and they had this record then. And that all fascinated me. So that even as a kid, I could say, okay, this guy got hot here, and this guy got... And and maybe maybe there's something to this, maybe there's something to that. Like it was, It was really interesting to me. So, it's, it's part of who I am. And, again, it comes down to if a person takes a look at one video on my channel and goes, oh, there you go. Crap. Then, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like watching a, a, a scene in, in the middle of a movie and, and you might take everything else out of context and go, oh, why is anybody watching this? It's, I guess, you know, and, and, and not trying to make my channel sound exciting or anything, but, I mean, if, if you turn on the middle of a Transformers movie, you're going, why is there robots? Robots everywhere. And then you walk out. Now, if you've watched it from the start, the actual response you'll have during any Transformers fight scene is, why are there more robots? Oh, oh, there were enough robots. Why Why are there more robots? I don't remember Transformers being this aggravating when I was a child. And of course, then people go, shh, you're old. Shut up. This is how it is now. The robots are different now. They don't have personalities. They don't have color. They're all silver. They all have the same face. Just deal with it. And then I look and I go, why am I comparing Transformers to hockey? I don't know. But... It, it is all part and parcel of, of who I am as a hockey fan and, and the reason for having a channel. So, you know, I thought about it today. I, you know, I'm reading this comment. I'm like, do I, do I really discuss why I buy all these hockey news magazines and why I share this information on my channel? And it's because I don't think that every person on my channel can get that information. Shadow, go, go over there. No, go over there. And, you know, I try to convey as much as I can. Uh, there's a letter here I got to answer from a little kid that's at camp. I don't know how old he is, but he's at camp. And he wants me to write him a letter telling him what happened in the off season because he's been there for from, from the end of June until, until now. So I'm going to sit down and write him a letter on, on who moved where and what happened. That's, that's what I think of when I'm doing videos. I think of the big picture. 
I think of the guy who just got into hockey, and there's there's there are those fans. There's the Vegas people, who are like, we're getting a team. What are we getting? What is what is the NHL? What is what is this sport we're getting? And I think of of veteran fans too, which is why you know when I get a a couple boxes of pro set, and people look and go, why are you getting pro set? Well, there's Craig Simpson. You know him from Hockey Night in Canada. Craig sparkled throughout the 1990 playoffs by netting 16 goals and adding 15 assists. He was drafted second overall by the Pittsburgh Penguins in 1985. He became an Oiler in 1987. Simpson is among the NHL's most accurate shooters. He takes a lot of punishment, but can dish it out too, as reflected in the 180 penalty minutes he was assessed last season. So, 29 goals, 61 points, 180 uh, penalty minutes for Craig Simpson. And that's the kind of stuff that ends up sticking in the brain. Or, this he actually became one of my, my favorite defensemen at this time. He's just sitting on top. And again, I, I don't care what what company makes the cards. I talked about that yesterday. Steve Duchesne. Uh, Duchesne led Kings defenseman in scoring for the fourth straight year. He had 62 points that year. And finished ninth among NHL defenders. Uh, Steve is the Kings go career goal scoring leader among defensemen. He had 36 minutes in penalties last season. He was selected for the second consecutive year to represent the LA Kings in the All-Star game. He was second in team playoff scoring with 11 points in 10 games. Uh, 20 goals that year. He had 25 the year before. The The weird thing with the, uh, the pro set cards is they only give you the totals for the four years they show you on the back of the card. Who's, whose idea was that? Stupid. That's really stupid. But anyways, I just wanted to just do this as sort of a... I've, I've started started doing these intro videos at the start of the day now. And then we get into who's going to make it where. And you'll notice that on the board I've got who's finishing where. I didn't mean to have 4th and 7th place teams. So that's not a trend that I meant to start. Because remember, I had San Jose in 3rd. And then during the video I had a meltdown. And I had to put them in 4th. And, and I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Anyways, so that's that's my my reasoning behind all of the magazines. But again, for you guys who've been veteran watchers of my videos, you know this, I think. But I don't think I've ever actually said it. So there it is. It's out there. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing around the internet and you just happen upon this video and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, I will always answer uh, any sort of comment that gets made uh, even if it's offhand and and yeah there's there's trolly stuff this to me just felt more targeted um and and you know i i just i enjoy what i do i enjoy knowing you guys are out there watching and uh, i always try whatever i do whenever i read something i always try to put my own slant on it and my own opinion in it and i definitely encourage you guys to read as much as you can and go through as much as you can and in terms of the hockey news itself what i noticed when i bought when i got this magazine in the mail a lot of the articles that are in it are the same ones i've been reading online so a lot of the content online is condensed put into paper form and sent to me which is fine then i have it i don't have to worry about looking through a website to find it i'm old it's part of being old i know i know there's searches and you can find it easy but i i like having it in my hands I get, I'm sort of like that with music too I still buy CDs because I like to have a physical copy of the music not just an mp3 not just a digital version not just Spotify and I have to, I have a paid Spotify account too but I, I like to have that CD copy alright that's enough for me for now but uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I will be talking to you soon and no this does not mean I'm talking about Calgary today I might but I haven't decided on the teams yet. It's more of a roll of the dice thing. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon.